Kia ora everybody, it is day 16 of the Beer Jerk Advent Calendar. I'm Luke. And I'm Matt. And we are here today to drink a pretty interesting beer. This is a Salted Goza from <laughs> Sunshine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I know you're into this sort of thing, Matt. Well, look, you know, I mean, how much how much fruit and stuff can you put into a beer? I started asking that question, but as you know, as one of the country's top judges, I need to read the sum of everything. Well, this is a beer made with salty caramel. So, cheers. Cheers, Luke. You know, every now and then I ask myself, why? You know, why? At what point does a beer stop becoming a beer and, you know, becoming a dessert, a caramel um, slice or some kind of um, a fruity giveaway? I mean, for me... Really? Um, I've touched a lot of beers, as you know. This is starting to really, what's the word in English? Jump the shark, perhaps? You love the beer, jump the shark. Well, it's not a bad beer, but are we jumping the shark, besides jumping the shark, the, the, the beer itself? At what point do we say a beer is not a beer? I suppose what I'm saying, Luke. I mean, Matt, we, we literally brewed... It's not a, bad. It's not bad. We brewed a gunpowder bock a few months ago with a banana milkshake beer. Yeah. You, you live for beer. I think that's when I started to, 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 I started to have a bit of a, uh, a change at that point. I wouldn't call it an epiphany, but I started to sort of decide, you know... I mean, how long have I been judging beer for now? Well, years. You're exactly like years. one of the most highly regarded beer drinkers in, in all of New Zealand. I know, but I'm starting to feel fraudulent in that sense. I mean, at what point am I just um, telling the people what they want to hear? You know, when really they want to know, hey, really, is this a good beer or is it a, a, a straight... I mean, I'm going to give you an example. I mean, just the other night I was, I was out. Oh, when was I? And uh, I came across a beer. Uh, I'm just going to say it. It was basic lager. Basically, uh, it was okay. a... Um, it was a wake Cheney, okay? Well, Mark, Mark, it's crisp, it's crisp, 5%, simple. No one wants to say about, no one said about Wake what, what, I'm not saying they do, I'm just, as a point of comparison, as a judge, I need to compare to other to other beers, you know, and I just felt that that, for me, said, if you had to have a, you know, a poll in the ground that said beer is here, cider is here, blah, 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 that would be it. But having said that, look, it's growing on me. It's just, um, well, I'm I, even hard to judge that. Let's let's talk about this later because you know everyone's here. It's day six in the advent calendar. Everyone's drinking this pineapple salted caramel goza, mm. uh, and maybe we should talk, maybe you might see a therapist or you need. To... I just don't know. I mean, I take you back to um, back to NASA. The back in the days, they were trying to put a man on the moon. They didn't get it right the first time. You know, yeah. they started off with a simple concept, then they got overcomplicated and they blew up a shitload of rockets. Well, and then yeah, eventually yeah. they came back to a simple concept. And um, I'm not saying that was it, but at what point yeah. do you go back to basics and and um, reinvent the wheel, so to speak? We don't have to reinvent the wheel every time we go out into a into a, into a beer competition, do we? Well, it's fun though. And I'd say this beer from Sunshine in Gisborne, so the first brewery in New Zealand to see the lights every day, is maybe not the pinnacle of the brewer's art, but it's it, it's a, it's a high watermark in interesting gozers. So it's a gozer. It's it's slightly salty on the tongue. So it's getting it's a watermark there. I mean, the water for, for that, for example, comes from Nelson. Beautiful water in Nelson there. Um, um, fresh artesian water coming through there. Gives it that Christmas. Um, oh, well, you, you, not, last year, you told me that you went to the pub and you only had a and you yeah. had a pint of it, and you came into work the next day, and you said that it reminded you of when you were six years old and you fell into a pond. And I shared myself, yeah. But, and, and you said the pond water tasted better than the Wakachangi. You yeah, said it was look, disgusting. Look, yeah, people, yeah. people can change. And if we're not in a country or a world, indeed, that we can't change, what kind of world are we in? That's my question to the viewers. I mean, look, look at the last COVID for the last two years. If we haven't adjusted our lives because of COVID, how can we not, therefore, adjust our lives because of what we do in a job as a beer judge, whatever, we need to adjust and adjust as well as adjusting around us. And for me, um, that's, it's a lager, and that's a, what you call it? Uh, it's, a, it's a salted goza. Goza, yeah. Of course, a goza. And um, tell it was great on me. Well, I suppose people can change, um, but it's... Yeah. Look, I wish I had changed. Um, I might still be married now, you know? Um, I, mean, right. I was too slow to change. Yeah. I was too slow to change, and now I'm paying the price. Uh, am I better? Oh, maybe, maybe a little bit. Am I better? She's got half the house. She's got half the, the car. I mean, have you mm. ever driven half a car? That's bloody impossible. You know what I mean? And that's because I didn't change. Well, I thought, I thought you liked living in the brew shed with the dog. Yeah, okay. Look, I mean, it, it's been fun. It's been fun. And Ali's getting on with her life. No, she's, you know, she's, she's free, no? Too well, too well. I mean, this is getting a bit personal. Yeah, yeah, so, so, sorry. For, for uh, a beer show, I suppose. Yeah. I'm trying to say is I wish I had the front part of the car instead of the back. It's a front wheel drive, you see. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But my point is, I, I, I enjoy that. I enjoy that. It's very fruity. Uh, I'm certainly getting the caramel, salted mm. caramel. 
If it was just caramel, I'd, I'd maybe be a little bit more iffy, but it's 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 growing on me. Okay, so all right. I then. just I just wonder, Luke, if we really need to really rethink what we're doing here overall. Well, maybe that's a, a bigger discussion for another day. Let's maybe uh, the camera kind of thing. Oh, too. maybe on the Jet podcast. You know, that's you what we have, you know, literally dozens of people tune in every week to the Beer Jet podcast to hear us chat about beers. So this could be a special episode, uh, okay. you know, Matt's Epiphany. Yeah, we don't want to go out a piece too much about my, my personal life and stuff like that. But I am still there. And if you, you know, you want to get in touch, maybe the, the details can be off, off podcast there and people can... Well, you can slide into my DMs if you want to, you know, there spend you more time with Matt uh, drinking a hook up with a sort of a, a washed up, uh, what's the word in English, a washed up um, <sighs> beer judge. I'm your man. Uh, so thank you to Sunshine for bringing such an interesting beer. Uh, I think it's bloody beautiful. I think it's like um, it's like drinking a nice tart bit of um, bit of cake. You know, like those pineapple upside down cakes. Great, great packaging. Gorgeous ours on there. What's the percentage on that? Uh, it is. I don't know actually. Six uh, percent. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. So yeah, a little bit heavier on the. What's the rocket junk? Well, perhaps if I had three or four before we started judging, we might have judged it differently. Um, there's five, of course, on that. Oh nice, yeah, nice middle of the road five there, not too low, not too high, but you know, you know who am I to say, um, you know. But no, I, I am enjoying it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you now, it's okay. going on me. Well, Merry Christmas everybody. Happy day 16 of Advent. Woo. And we'll be back again tomorrow. Cheers everybody, and cheers Matt. Cheers mate.